Sumo Chiefs are on the lookout for a new Ozeki this year, and 11 win showings in November have marked out Mitake Umi and Takano Sho as prime candidates, the latter even saying last week that Ozeki is his specific aim. But do the stats suggest they will get there? Let's look at some eye-catching research conducted by data website Spaya. Going back, it seems, to the start of the six-tournament system in 1958. The first point Spaya makes is that reaching Ozeki entails rising to Division 2 and, if possible, Division 1 in your early 20s. Even wrestlers taking an age to make Ozeki itself have risen swiftly in their early days, a la this man here. In fact, in modern times, only Kiribayama's coach, the former Kirishima, has attained Ozeki after debuting in Division 1 at 25, and he set all kinds of slow progress records. This therefore means that uni graduates such as Mitake Umi, who turn pro at 22, must fly through those lower divisions if Ozeki is their aim. Happily for our two main contenders, both were in Division 1 by the age of 23. The second Supaya observation, perhaps unsurprising, is that Ozeki tend to boast high win percentages in their Division 2 days, averaging almost 63%, or between 9 and 10 wins a tournament. Mitake Umi easily clears this notional criterion. Takano Sho, though, only just. Furthermore, nearly 70% of all modern Ozeki have been fighting at a rank of Maigashida 5 or above for at least 18 months prior to their promotion. Mitake Umi hasn't been lower than that since 2016, which is why Sumo Chiefs bemoan his failure to make Ozeki, while Takano Sho has been at Maigashira 2 or above for 10 straight meets, including this one. But there is also, says Speyer, a third top ranker who meets most of the criteria above. The man with the most throws in 2021, Kiribayama. In Division 2 at 22, Division 1 at 23, winning 9 bouts a meet in Division 2, and competing at Maigashida 5 and above for all but two of the past ten events. You know how the press have bigged him up? especially in September, when he won six of his seven bouts with top rankers. However, Kiri is yet to post double figures in the upper ranks, which he must likely do three times running to make Ozeki his. Kiri Bayama does, however, share an advantage with Takano Sho over Mitake Umi. The presence of a man with Ozeki experience or above in his own stable. In his case, two. Recent data shows this to be a tremendous help for Ozeki candidates, at least to all of these. But the stats, as we know, are not everything, and it is Sumo's frequent generation of outliers that will give us so much fun in 2022.